Okay. So we're up to and I am Bayes, we're in the middle of page of uh, page Tough Sam of Gimel. Forms in sixty-three, chapter two twenty-eight. So he's talking about the two interpretations in the Zohar in the Pasukia Sisopella. The first interpretation is how Chochmah becomes Pella, how it conceals on Keser and the Tainuk. And he said that's not how Chochmah is a Mitzalatzme. Chochmah on its own is a state of Gili, not a state of Helen. And he made a whole case to, to prove that, to demonstrate that, by, by explaining that the Nefesh Chochmah is the first Reshi Sagili, it's the beginning of every Gili. Gili is opening me. Hel- Tainug, on the other hand, is Helen. It's concealed. Like the difference between pleasure and Tainug. Pleasure is a, st- is a some form of expression. Tainug is an internal thing. And actually, when Tainug is revealed, it actually disrupts the Giluim. It creates a Elian Silik of all the Kaychas. So they all get elevated. The truth is, Simcha also creates that type of aliyah v'siluk, but he doesn't go into that. Anymore. Okay. And he said that this is true, even with Tainug that restores or revives the nefesh, let's say a, a powerful scent, and definitely the Tainug that's internal, the Urchezer Tain. Rotson too, Rotson is an Urmakif as well, even though there is a form of Gili. But Chachma is the real first air Pnimi. That uh, is the beginning of of Rishi Sagila. And the same thing is Lamaila. Just like it's in the Nefesh, it's also in the Sagila that uh, Chachm is the first Gili, like it says Chachm is called Er, Ayi Er, first light. Then it says Chachm Techaye, Chachm brings life. Then he explains it because Atzilis, which is the first, is the world that, so to speak, manifests godliness. In order to know God, Atzilus is Lias Inyan Atzilus with Gili Eden Sof. Lias should be Gili Eden Sof. So Atzilus, its whole purpose is imparting godliness in a way that we should know it. So therefore, the Aschala of Atzilus has to be a level of Gili. There's no point. Helen is not the purpose of Atzilus. The purpose of Atzilus is revealing what's concealed. So Chachma, therefore, being the first step in Atzilus has to be fundamentally a gili because all of Atsilis is a gili. Then he went into, and then he said, brought from the Ramaz, that in truth is the beginning of the gili starts with Chach Mestima. Because if the mucker, the source of conscious wisdom, is the unconscious, you have to say that even the unconscious, even Chistima, even though it's called concealed, but since it's Chach Mahari, it's mucker ha gili. That's why the Ramah says that that's the beginning of Atsilas. Then he went in the parentheses, which is where we stop. In the parentheses, the whole parentheses explains how all this is in the Sherish of Makar Harishim. That the whole source of how Chachm, where does Chachm originate from of Atsilas, in so called in Atzmus. So he says, Be'edias Atzme, Ye'edia Kol HaNetzalim, I guess, in order. So he explained that in Atzmus Gufi you also have these levels. Atzmus itself is beyond any type of Gili. But in order for it to have a relationship with us and with what will be emanated, so Atzmus arose in Atzmus Gufi a, le- a level that is Yudeya, Yudeya, Atzmus. But then this really answers the question, what's this Kaddish? Of course God knows everything. Why, does, why do you need to have a level that he knows it within himself? Even before that level, he has a sense and, understa- and you know, a knows of existence, except it's not the level of knowledge, as we understand it. The answer is because before that, it would be completely behelam, in Atmos. And you couldn't call it any type of gili, which would mean that it wouldn't really it would be on his terms completely and wouldn't have any connection with us interface-wise. But when Chachma is, not, is, is, is like he puts it, when it's all a Chachma, when it's all a Chachma, Chachma, so to speak, in its first kernel, you know, we're talking here very subtle, in Atzmus, is that 
God says there's a way of Hashem. God knows Himself. That's Musay upon Him. It's Musay. It's already a gili. That begins the process. In order that that will cause Melau, that idea to come into the world and the shamas and the souls and the elements. So what he's basically doing here is taking the whole explanation of Chachma on the level of Atsilas. Chachma Gluya is the beginning of Atsilas, which is beginning in order to know God. Explains that that is Gili, fundamentally. It's rooted in Chachmas Tama, which is the beginning of the Gili. And it's, in its deepest root in Atmos, the same thing plays itself out. There's Atmos is beyond it all. But there's Bidias Atzma, that Atmos has a level within it that is already beginning to know. Through knowing himself, he knows. And that level is necessary because it's a level of Gili that allows the, the interface to begin to take effect. If it wasn't existing, we, would have, we wouldn't have a bridge. <coughs> so let's continue now. Hare, as in like after the parentheses. Hare, the b'chines ha-chokhmu, b'chines ha-gili. So he's going back to that. So the level of chokhmu is the level of gili. The b'chines keser, which was tainuk, as he said before. The b'chines keser, b'chines helam. Keser on its own is a level of helam. Dal shem zeh. And for that reason, it's called nikra cheshech. It's called darkness. The Yeshu Bechinus Helam. Abu Chacham Bechinus Every Gili. Chacham is a light and a revelation. Yes, Lamer, and you can say, the Kes of Chacham is our Atzilus Bechinus Cheshu of Air. That Kes of Chacham is the imparting of these two forces called darkness and light. The Kedua, as it's known, Shachesh Einerak Hedera Air. Darkness is not just the absence of light. It's a creation of its own. It's an entity, an existence of its own. And it's actually higher than light. Like we say in the Davini. He shaped light and created darkness. Which shows you that it's higher. Why? Because he created darkness. Light, the only shaped. Bri is always higher than Yitzira. So basically, is, what he's doing is something similar to what he discussed earlier, if you recall. In other words, there's two types of darkness. There's a darkness that's the absence of light, and it's just a matter of time, and it will be revealed. Remember, we talked about a Helam Atzmi, and there's a Helam Lefiyar. He actually said that was the two levels of Chach Mistimah. Outer Chach Mistema was more of a Helen than just the Fierach relative to Chach Maglui, it's a concealment. And Primus Chach Mistema was a Helen Ma'atzmi, like the Makif of Verchoiser, more connected to Atik. I was just mentioning that. Said that earlier. Yes, Leimer. So we can say the Bishoshan in its root, this creation of light and dark, or dark and light, in that order, first dark then light. Which is the union of darkness and light. He has now Chaymer Vitsura. Chaymer Vitsura is matter and shape. So Chaymer is Briya. When we say God created something, Yitzira means to shape it. So think of it like a clay maker or anybody that makes any type of object from something. The first stage is you create a. Um, a uh, goylam, a uh, an unshaped piece of clay, and then you begin to shape it into something. In a, in a, in more conceptually, it's like you make an outline before you flesh it out. So you have an outline and, a, and just a skeleton. That would be like more of a chaymer. You know the basic structure is there, but you can't call it fleshed out in detail. You don't yet see the the details in it. Everything is like that, you know. You whether they whether it's shaping gold into ornaments, or any type of shaping of ideas, you begin with the general chaymer. So generally, chaymer is bria, bara, and it's a state of chayshik lefiyarech because it's not yet clear all the details and, and the intricate 
seeds are not yet emerged. Then comes Yitzira, Chaim Yitzira. Yitzira is Yitzirah uh, Er, which is like more revealed and therefore like light. So he's basically saying that Yesh Lamer, that Kesna Chochme is actually the Atzilus of the two concepts of darkness and light, or or Chaimer and Surah. And again, the parentheses. Similarly, and also in Avaida, the Abitl Shem Ebchinis Hakeser, who Abitl Shalemayel Metam Vedas Legamri. In Avaida, what are these two things, Cheser and Chachma? So in Avaida, Keser is a Bitl that's higher than rational, super rational Bitl. Kumay Beruusa Deliba, Shem Ebchinis Rotsen Pashut. So like Ruusa Deliba, that inner will, the inner desire of the heart. So it's Lamal Matam Vadas, it's the natural so called deep love or connection a person has with God. That bit Lamal Matas Vadas was Hubkinis Rabs and Pashut, Khim be Inyan Amuna Pshuta. Is you know it's similar to Amuna Pshuta, just plain Amuna. That's Bitl of Kesa. A bitl Shamitsada Chachma has a bitl Shamitsad Hayidiya. It's a different type of bitl. The bitl of Chachma is a bit that comes from knowing. It's not just super rational. Even though this is also a bit lamit. It's not uh, superficial. It's a true bit. It's a true selflessness. It's a true nullification in the eyes of the presence in the face of godliness. It's not a bitl mitzad hasog. It's not a bitl that comes from contemplation and understanding. That's only a bitl ayesh bilvad. I'll soon explain what this means, but let me just read it through. Shari hasog hu irak hu irak bebchinis hamitzias delakus. Vii avede derev anesham is basog vii is bonus belakus. Shari dezei hi yitzi min ayeshes. So, in other words, really talking about three levels of bitl now. Keser chachma. And Hasag, which would be in it probably, and for which is Kashak to most Nishamas. So let's go from the bottom up. He's going backwards. What? But that's only Bitl Hayesh. The Rev Nishamas, how did they come to Bitl? We had a similar idea. I don't think he's, I don't know if he's comparing it to the Nefesh Shabamis that he spoke about, but remember when the Nefesh Shabamis teaches the Nefesh Shabamis how to appreciate godliness, I guess this is just reminiscent a bit, but he didn't compare the two, so I don't want to either. But let's just say a person. Living in this world, you know, we, we, we're yesh. We have egos, we have personality, we, we are into ourselves. We're basically initially narcissists, selfish, which called self oriented. And we start, Bimizbainen, like he says here, in Elokus. We realize. That there's more to existence and to life than just me and us. As a result, it weakens and creates a, uh, it tames the yeshes. Yetzimina yeshes. Takes you out of the yeshes. So that's bit la yesh. It's not like, you're not, it's coming matalamayla, it's coming from where you are, and it's weakening to the point of, I guess, I don't know how much it weakens, but it's enough to, that's Bitla Yesh. That's Raven Hashem. That's from Hasoga. That required a, a contemplation, a concentration, you know, meditation. So let's continue. The Behedra Aveda, without this Aveda, without this Hasoga, and so on, Haryu Nimshech, Achri Achumriz Vayeshus. In other words, it's like superimposed almost, in the sense, on your own, you would be Yechumriz and Yeshus, a person. So without the Aveda. And through the Aveda, which I guess is basically two steps of Aveda, which is Hasoga, you know, thinking about it, and then, I guess, acting on it and affecting you, that creates Bitl Hayesh, the Yesh which was on its own would have just been a Yesh. In other words, leave a person to his own, on his own, to his own devices, he's going to be a Yesh. Mm-hmm. He needs Aveda that will then cause him to have Kiruv Lalakus, closeness to Lalakus. The chef is belikus, and you should desire belikus. So that's bitl hayesh. That's not even bitl of chachma. Then comes a bitl hachachma, 
אבל הביטל דה חכמה לי יש לזה מבחינת שזה יש מונוס על הכוס. חכמה זה נת היש, תראו הסוגר בין מבט על יש, חכמה זה סינג, זה מונוס, לא רק זה מציאס על הכוס. זה קונקשן, כמו אביזן. We spoke about Riyah. How does it begin with Bitla Miti? And therefore that Bitla is a Bitla Miti. So practically speaking, it would be like the difference between you sitting here, we're sitting here, in our yeshes, and, and contemplating. And that creates a certain Bitla Yesh. But that Chochmah is able to see something. Let's say you see Har Sinai. You see godliness. You see a miracle. You, you know... I don't necessarily mean a miracle per se, I mean to say that there's something that is so, uh, that really completely sweeps you off your mitzvahs. So that's a bit lamiti, which is sometimes called bit mitzvahs. Calls it bit lamiti. I guess bit lamiti because the bit la yesh is not a miti because you're still a yesh, and without the veda you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't get anywhere. You'd remain a yesh. Here, there's something that's fundamentally a state of bitl. That state of riyas and is a is a state of bitl. Makom Mokim, nevertheless, even Chachma is still there, remember. Has a bit of Shemitzad Hayyadiyah Dafke. It's still coming from knowing. It's true, it's not a Yesh contemplating from a distance God and creating bit of Yesh. It's a close knowing. It's an intimate knowledge, but it's still knowledge. Yadiyah. Remember, everything was Yadiyah here. In order for, him to, for us to know God, God knows us through knowing Himself. In other words, it's a, some form of express nangili. Like it says, Zekeli vanveyu. What's anvehu? Ani vuhu. Da bit luhu bechinis ani vuhu chad. Okay, and evil who, me and him, I have to look up what it says in other places. He says a commission because of the ill. But basically, he's talking about the bit of Chochmah. So there is you. Bitl is me, and Chad is one with godliness. Okay, we'll have to look it up. But the Makom Mokim Zeo Davka Adesh is that. Kaili, Chinis Yediyah. Okay, so the Bittl is Nani, it's one with godliness, but it comes through Zekeli. You know, another, I'm saying, this is my God. Zekeli, I'm Veyu, and I'm bottled to the Aniva who become one. The commotion is Borda Il, Pedek Lamet Ches, or Pedek Kuf Samad Gimel. We'll look at it later. I don't want to, probably there he explains this thing. But the bottom line is Chach, so therefore Chachma's Bittl is a Bittl Amiti. But it's still a bit limited idea. So this was an explanation in Avoida, what he said before in Haskalah, that Keser and Chachm is the Shadish, the root of Chayshech and Eir, Chaymer and Sura, where Keser is Helen, Chachm is Gili. In Avoida, Keser is the Avoida of Reusa de Liba, a bit. Shalamayla Metam Vadas. Completely higher than Tambadas. Chachm is a bit la piyadia, pi Tambadas. And then Bitlayesh is even lower than that. To explain a little the difference between bit of yadia and bit of kesa, I'll just say the following. And you could use it also the other way around. We could learn from the, from the scholar, we could learn the Avedah. Since he called Kesser Chesha Chelem and Chachma Gili, you need both Bittles. Because as we said, the interface needs both Bittl. We even need Bittl Ayesh, to be honest. Because if you only have Bittl of Kesser, Bittl of Kesser is literally like, let's call it like the air inside the Shemesh. It's just, it's just absolute absorption into the source where you no longer are There's no idea, there's nothing. There's no... Anything outside of the source. That's why it's chayshich. As he says, it's not chayshich mitzad weakness, it's a chayshich mitzad greatness. It would be as if when God said to Moshe Rabbeinu, if you saw me, no person can see me and live. Because then you won't be you. You'll be completely absorbed 
It's like the tzimtzum. It's the area itself lifting out tzimtzum. So there may be times for that when they even stood by Mount Ter. It says in every dibur there, the sham expired. We learned that. But that's not the kavana. There's no, there's, if you expire, you're not going to be making a dibur b'tachtenim and so on. So that level of kesser is a complete cheshech. Like it says sometimes that the ultimate oyer is cheshech because it's so gilly, so much gilly, there's, nothing, there's no room for anything else. The next level, and this is for the interface as well, the mumutza, is that you want that bitl to come into our mitzis. That's why you need gilly. Remember he said the whole thing with Atsilis was revealing godliness. In the helam, then fine. You know, that's not the purpose, however. For it to be revealed, you need something of me in there. How, how, it's revealed to me or to you. And Yediyah, as we're speaking, Chochmah is the first place of the Gili. That's the place where the Kus manifests for the first time in our parameters. The challenges in the interface is how that connects to Chochmah Staman, all the way to Atik and Atzimus and so on. But he's now talking about the other part, the Gili. So that, that's already a bitl that is now has Yediyah. You're not, you're not in the Mokr, you're not in Kesser, you're, you are you. But you have such a strong Yediyah, Yediyah Samahus, like he says, Mahus Alakus. That you're completely bottled. But you can't call this out, you can't call that, you can't say you don't exist. You can't say there's no Atsilis. You can't say there's no Gili. So it's lower than the Kesser Bittl, but now it's within some some parameter. Then there's Bittl Ayesh, which is like he said, most Nishamas. That's already, that's not even Atsilis, that's Biyah. That's where the Mitzis is, the, the Mitzis and the Yesh is the Ikah. However, Mamat Lamayla, grassroots, you slowly climb higher to the level of uh, some type of bitl based on asoga or aveda and you have to work on yourself. Generally, it doesn't say it here, but in other places, some of when it talks about zera, bahema, zera, adam, the shamas of atzilus and the shamas of biya. So the shamas of atzilus are like the sun inside the house of the king. So they are able to have intimate knowledge of godliness, atzilus. Biya is the evad that's outside, he's serving and doesn't have that personal relationship. So that's the difference. A Ben has the idea, it's Atsilis, like a Shabbat Atsilis has a idea, it just has a natural connection to Elokus. But it's still a Ben. We're not talking about the Av. It's not the Kes. And then there's the Eved, which is like, in this case, the Bittl Hayesh. Obviously, you need all three because everyone has an advantage over the other, but that's not for right here. There too, in some of Vav later, he also talks about the ayin of Kesa, the ayin of Chachma, the ayin of lower than Chachma. He talks about the levels of it. The Imkein, Masha Chachma Nikrepela. So now he's going back to the verse. Remember the second interpretation of the Zohar. The Imkein, after this whole Arichas. Remember, this real Arichas was based on, let me go back, he said the first interpretation of the Zohar is between Stimas Vehelam, Chachma Stimas Vehelam. No, I just went back to the pre- previous page. I, I just read from the previous page. So now he's going back to that. So then the first interpretation of Zayr in the Posuk, where Chachma is called Pella, that's not Mitzadatzme. That's not Chachma as it's Mitzadatzme. That Pella, that wonder, that Chochmah, that higher level of Chochmah, is not Chochmah as it is on its own, which we just established as Gili, Gili, Gili. That's how Chochmah is only because it's how it's in Malemes, Le'era Keser, how it conceals to the light of Keser. How it's like a concealment on the light of Keser. And we just established that Keser is Helen. So then how Chochmah conceals the Keser is not Chochmah Mitzal Atzmah, it's how Chochmah has another aspect to it that is my own long castle. Now, earlier in chapter 224, this boy we explained the Helam that this Chochmah that conceals the Eira Kesser, that's not like a garment. That you put on, a, uh, let's say, you know, a body puts on a garment. The garment conceals the body, or the, or whatever is the, pa- the, pa- the the packaging conceals whatever is inside the package. 
we explained it's not like a garment, an outside garment that conceals, but it's how Enoch becomes Chachma, and in that it is concealed. Because Enoch itself is Chachma. Levush is not an extension of, and it's not part of the, the thing it's covering up. As we explained there. And therefore, this helm is not like, not, you can't, the lavush is not a helm atzmi. A lavush is a person. A lavush can be a marshal, a lavush can be put on a garment, so now you're concealed. Or a lavush is any type of concealment, which is a real concealment, uh, in order, a diminishing of the, and, and a concealment of the light. Here, it's a helm atzmi, as we've been talking. It's not a helm that's, uh, lo, that, that, that is, um, two things. It's not a helm b'shvila gili, it's not a helm that brings to Gili, and it's also not a helm that's like from an outside thing. It's a helm atzmi. It's essentially the, the essential unconscious state, the essence, that is on its own just simply so intimate and so beyond Gili. It's beyond Gili. Whereas Levush is lower than Gili, this is beyond Gili. That means that the Chochmah in that case has become, is on the level of Keser Mamash, which means Helam Etzim. Remember, all this is not Chafam Mitzaratzme, as he's as he's pointing out. She begins by Alma. He ne bederek klala iker, who begins Chafmus Tima. So this level that I just described is, in general, primarily it's the iker Chafmus Tima. I must of course look the so the same thing with Maskel Dirshu. Look before what we said in the end of Dirshu. I gotta see what he says there. If you don't mind. You should have looked last night. Dirshu Hashem be Matzah. No, I guess it's the. Let me see which man it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, even this, also this, in itself is the higher level of How it's perceived, how it's from the perspective of atzmus amaitzel, the source of the of 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 of, of, of the source of the the mites. But the lower level of Chach Mistimah, what he called earlier, Chetzenitz Chach Mistimah, the Kosh can begin Chach Ma Gluyid Atzilis, and surely, and definitely, the Chach Ma, the revealed Chach Ma, says, Lo Yitak and Likri B'Shem Pela. There, it doesn't, it's not appropriate to call the name of Pela. In other words, this Pela, of Chach Ma, that is Malemus for Ere Kesa, because Chach Tani became Chach Ma, is how Chochma became on the level of, it becomes the one with the level of Kesa, which is a pro, primarily Chach Mistima, and Chach Mistima the higher level. But the lower level of Chach Mistima, and Chach Magluya for sure, you can't call Leyetaken. It's not appropriate, it's not fitting to call it Pella. Now he's adding something. Let me see. What is he saying? So that's because that's the first the Khan Mefarish, and here he explains because the Pesuk says Asisapella, and the Zoyer said that was Chachma. So he's saying Khan Mefarish that Chachma nikra Pella mitzad Atzmei Dafke. Ah. Okay. 
let's just go back to you understand you'll understand on the fourth line the fifth line of the beginning of the chapter he said like this he began the chapter by saying another interpretation he says the Zayar says which means a second interpretation and Mishum the Kanda Fadish, because now he's here he's interpreting Mashukosub Kyosisapella, but if an Akhar, he's explaining the Posik Kyosisapella in a different way than Masha Pirish Kaidim, what he explained earlier. Then if Pirish had Rishin, according to the first Pirish, Masha Kachmani Kapella, him and Peneshi Kisu Villa Vushala, Slapsha Villa Hedus Dima. So Kachm is called Pella. Because it is the Kisu and Levush. And we are and that's Chachmas Timah, which is Timah's Vahelam. But Aval Ein Zebachinus HaChachm Mitzadatzme. I skipped the line or two. But this is not Chachm Mitzadatzme, because Chachm Mitzadatzme you can't call Pella. That's what he's just saying here. Now he's going back to Khan Mefadish, interpretation number two, however, is that Chachm Nikola Pella Mitzadatzme Dafke. That the second interpretation where he says Kyosisa Pella Kyosisa Aleph is the Dovracha, that here he explains the Chochm is called Pella also on its own. La Kavona. Dafke Bechinus Agili. And the Bechinus Agili, the Chochm and Nikra Pella. There Pella is Chochm as not as it's on its own. On its own it's Gili, but then it's way it goes into Keser, the way it's Mailam on Keser, and how Tachayim becomes Chochm. So it assumes the personality of Kesser, which is Helamatsm. That's interpretation one. So Chochmah is Pella, but that's not Chochmah itself. That's Chochmah as it stands inside Kesser. Now he's saying Chochmah, even as it stands as a Gilu, is also called Pella. Even the Gilu of Chochmah is also an element of Pella. See, it's, it's powerful because you see how he continues this interface again. Everything is everything. Now Chochmah is having an element of Pella where before Chochmah had it only when it went into its into Kesser. Now it has it on its own. So it's, and I'm sure that's an element of Kesser within the Chochmah in a sense. Bezer Shekosu Kersisa Pella, Kersisa Aleph. This is the second interpretation of Zer. And this is what it says, Kersisa Pella, Pella, Pella's letters Aleph. The beginning is often of a limit. The chacham beginning is pella. That the beginning is often of a limit. The chacham who beginning is pella, as chacham teaches and reveals. It's also the level of pella. That's what the second period of zayir is. Um afaras al zayir, and now he's going to explain it. He's explaining the zayir. Um afaras and explains aleph beis aleph bina. Aleph beis means aleph teaches bina. This is the process. Hachachma descends. Yisod Abba, like he said earlier, Yisod is always the place where it connects. Abba connects them like a teacher bonds, which is Yisod, with the student. So Aleph connects with Bina. Chachma is reveals to Bina. And that's called Pella. Like like an example, the Nekudis Haskola, the, the spark, the, the initial concept of our idea, he's giving an example how it, how it works on our level. That the Neskola of Chochmah, the Nekudis Haskola of Chochmah, becomes revealed, which is already a Seichel Goli, I'm sorry, because Chochmah we're talking about is Gili, that is a Seichel Goli, and that Nekudah then comes down, that's Al of Bina, that comes down and, and as informs and is then embellished upon and elaborated in Bina. It's interesting, he calls it Al Derech Moshel. The truth is, I thought this is it, Kochim Bina, but I guess he's using a Moshel from how it is by us. Instead, yeah. Because usually a Moshel is something, you know, here. This is, this is the price of Chochmah Bina, that in the Kud of Gili of Chochmah becomes uh, Sogad the Bina. Harizeb Bchinis, Mibchinis Pella Dafke. This process is from the level of Pella. No, he didn't say yet why. Okay. The Lechid ain't a moving, Lechid is not understood 
Eichu Pele Macha Shu Bechinus Gili. So now the Zayar is saying, the second Pirish of Zayar is saying, that Pele is not just, is not, is not like the first interpretation that Chochmah is in Keser. That's understood. Because then Chochmah assumes the personality of Keser, which is Helam, which is Pele. It's a wonder, beyond. It's Lamal Matam Vadas, Pele. When you say Pele, you mean, you know, it's a wondrous thing. It's amazed by it. But how does it apply here? How could you call Chachma Gluya and its process of teaching Bina? Why is that a Pela? That's his question. Chilein and Muvah. Eichu Pela Machas Shubchin is Gili. After it's a Gili, it's talking about Gili. Why is it a Pela? Bimu Shubchin is Pela. Had a Pela made Allah Hester. And if it's a, if it's called if it's level of Pela, had a Pela it usually reflects on and 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 shows and is is a, Pela means that it, Pela Pela made it. How do you define murder? Demonstrates that it's a hester. When you say something is a wonder, it means it's concealed, it's not revealed. Shandy, you be able to read it, you think? You be able to read that? Um, yeah. Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? So it goes both ways, the question. Since it's gilui, Why is it Pella? And if it's Pella, which shows on a concealment, how, how from that will come a Gili and, and, and transmission to Bina? You understand? Mm-hmm. Pella is, is, is the wonder. Remember, we talked about Chacham being Hafla and Yurida. Pella is how things are beyond Hasoge. It's a wonder. So basically, the Zayr is calling this level Pella. So the first interpretation makes total sense. The second interpretation, how does Pella get into here? He t- interpreted Kasisa Pela, Kasisa Aleph. Aleph is not Pela, Aleph is the opposite. Because, number one, as I said, both directions. Because Pela, it, it, since it's Gili, why is it Pela? And if it's Pela, which is a Hester, how from that comes a Gili? Okay. Achzehu, and now he continues. This is what desire continues. Achzehu Shemavayer. This is the question that he is explaining, but Amre, what he continues the Zaya, it's saying, I will, the Yukun of the Aleph, the shape of the Aleph, Iutlas Sitra, is made up of three, three uh, sides. And as we said, the Hini Yudua, as it's known, the Tziut, Munus Aleph, the shape and the image of the, of the, of the letter Aleph, yes, but Beis Yudin, has two Yuds, right? Mm-hmm. Yud Aleph Lamaila. One yud is above. The yud aleph lamata. One yud is below. The kav beemtza mechaber beis yudim and a kav, a line that connects the two yuds. If I need to give you a demonstration, you know what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah, we have olives all over the place. Here. <laughs> okay. So that's the three. The vihine. He's explaining. This is beautiful. The Rebbe Shab is explaining the zayah. Huh? He explains everything. Vihine Yud Elyon, what is Yud Elyon? The higher Yud, the upper Yud is Bikinus Chachma, Shabbat Chachma. The higher Yud is Chachma within Chachma, Shemakabal Meira Keser, that receives the light of Keser. Kumeshakosa va Chachma Mayan Temotse. Like it says, Chachma Ma'ayan, from where did it come? Meaning Chachma comes from Ayan. So the Yud, the higher Yud, is Chachma of Chachma. You know, we said there's Yisod and Chochmah, there's levels of Chochmah, 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 as it connects and receives Eira Kesar. And that's Chochmah, Ma'in Temotze, Chochmah is coming from Ayin, that's the higher Yud. Ayin Yud is also a bit. Okay. Uhu Bechinus Nukudi Lo De Chochmah. That's the higher Nukudi, the higher point, the higher Dad of Chochmah. But Yud Atachten, and the lower Yud, Remember we said Yusei Daba, that brings to Bina. It's the Yusei of Chochmah. V'hu ma'asha Chochmah b'chines ma'ashpia b'chines nekud el Abina. So here we go. The Yud of the higher Yud is connecting to Kesa, Ayin. The lower Yud is bringing it down to Bina, is Yusei. Yusei Abi or is Yusei Chochmah. Abi Nima, of course, is Chochmah Bina. It's another name for them. Father and mother, the, the parents of the Midas. Right. 
Vahainu Aleph Bina, and that's the meaning of Aleph Bina. That the lower yud is bringing it into Bina. Vahakav, and what's the kav? The line. Vahakav Sheba Emtza, the line in the middle. Uvavk Sobaz the Abba. So Chochma is Chochma of Chochma, as you saw the Chochma. Then is the Vovk Sobis of Chochma, which is Chesed Gvura to Feres Netzachayid, Yisod. So, okay, I guess it's also Yisod. By Yudah Tachten, Bechini Sisha'a. By Yudah Tachten, Bechini Sisha'a Shabba. That's what we got. So it goes like this. Chochma of Chochma is the Lahar Yud. The Vov Sobis is like a Vov, like a line that's Chesed to Yisod. And its lowest level is becomes the Yud, the lower Yud, which is the last of the Vov Sobis, the last of the six Midas. Of the six sides, and that's your sod within it. So it's interesting. The higher yud is so called detached from the line. The lower yud is actually the last level of the line. Because it's the Vov Kesavis. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's okay, that, no, fine, fine. But how Kavshah went to Vov Kesavis, who are Kavshah Dema Levov? Oh, you know what? I, I skipped the two lines, sorry. This kav looks like a vov, and that's why it's the vov kav is the six sides, the six uh, you know uh, parameters. So we see from this that the whole image of the aleph, the image itself, from from head to toe, from from beginning to end, the aleph is. An aleph mamish the seer, the shape of an aleph reflects exactly what chokhmah is. Rakshi yud elyim b'chokhmah shab chokhmah, but it only breaks down the way. However, it breaks down the yud elyim the higher yud is chokhmah shab chokhmah. Havav shu hakav uvav uvav tzovish shabav by yud hatach mechinis yisrael shabav. So the so it breaks down that it's all chokhmah. But it dissects Chochmah into three parts. The Chochmah of Chochmah that connects to Kesar is the higher Yud. The Kav is, is the Vov Ksovis the, 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 from Chesed to Rizot. And then, the, and then, by Yud Atach, the Bechinus Yisot Shabbat. Ba'alzeh, Eimer Kiyosis HaPelad. And this is what he says, Kiyosis HaPelad. And now he's going to answer the question. How can you call it Pela when it's a Gilui? The Bechinus HaChochmah, 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 the Bechinus in other words, that Chachmah, even as it is at Bechinus Aleph, is also, and Gilidavke, this itself is a level of Pela. By Inyan who? What's the Inyan in this? Then you do it, the Chachmah Bechinus Koyach Ma. It's known that Chachmah is Koyach Ma. O Ma, who Shem Havaya B'mili Alfin. You know, Ma is, you know, there's four ways that Yud Kevovke can be. You know, you're familiar with that? Ma ban sa a sa ab. It depends how the hay is written. Yeah. Hay with an aleph is ma. Hay, hay, I could show it to you. Hay with a hay okay. is, is ban. With, you. with a yud, it uh, becomes sa. It depends on the combination. So there's two hays. Yeah. And ab is, of course, all yuds. Mm-hmm. So you say hay, but mili alfin. Mili means how a word is written out. Yes, yes. So a hay can be written hay aleph, hay hay, hay yud. So depending how you write it, that's how the gematria is. If you write Yud, K, Yud, Yud is 10, Hey, Hey, Aleph is 6, 16, Vav is 5, 21, and Hey, Aleph is another 6, 27, so no, no, no. Oh, no, written out, the I'm sorry, Yud is not 10. Yud is Yud, Vav, Dalet. It's 20. 20. Yeah. Hey is 6, 26. Another Hey, Aleph is another 32. And the Vav is 38. No, Vav, Vav Yud, Vav. I think it's not, Vav is not just 6. Vav, you would Vav, I think. Uh, we have Vav, 12, what do we have? 36, we need 45. We need 45. 45. We have to look at 1 someplace. No, no, there it is. It's, so it's, vav, it's, it's a Vav, Aleph, Vav. Vav, Aleph, Vav, 6, 7. No, no, 12. Yeah, okay, anyway, it's something like this. It's all an Aleph. All, all the Alephs. Everything is written out as Aleph. Vav, Aleph, Vav, but I have 13 to our, 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 our uh, 32. And give us 55. Is that 45. 45. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, bottom line is it's Mili Alfin, so it's all Alephs. Yes. So you see, Aleph is what makes Shema. Mm-hmm. It's again an Aleph. Mm-hmm. So he's saying that's Kriyach Ma. Kamayim Melagav Iu Shema. Like it says, I guess in Zayat, Kunuzayat, that Melagav 
from within. It's not really Yalfa. It's What? It's not really Yalfa. It spells it out. Yeah. Shazel Havaya the Alphan. This is Havaya with the Alephs. Yeah. We both have a Vav Avakon. Behind the Aleph the Chachmu Bchinis Ma. So we see from this that the Aleph Chachachma is the level of Ma. And Ma is Pella. Bchinis Ma Shabachachmu Zeb Bchinis Pella. And the Ma of Chachma, when you say Koyach Ma, that means even Chachma as it's a Gilu is also a dimension of Pella. Thinking about the, uh, because Chochmah is going to give me now there the starts a whole explanation of this but basically because Chochmah is not just Gili Seichel Chochmah also has a sense of Aha yes of course and that's the Ma so we say Koyach Ma it says Chochmah has two parts to it as, Ch- as Chochmah comes into Bina it's obviously bringing it down but when you get that spark of idea you say Ah Koyach Ma where did that come from Koyach Ma Ah mm-hmm. Ma so therefore Chochmah mm-hmm. is not just Pella and the beginning is ma she be gili ha chachma. The beginning is ma the chachma. The beginning is al yenu she be chachma. She be chachma. Like we said earlier, mm-hmm. we're not talking about the ma that as as chachma is uh, the, the higher levels of chachma, especially not how chachma goes into kesser. We're talking about ma in the gili of chachma. Ki ma kavon the beginning is ma she be gili ha chachma. The pastus it means that when you have a spark of an idea, even though there is now gili, but it has an element of wonder, like where did it come from? That moment, that initial amazement, that initial uh, euphoria that you have when an idea comes into you. What he's going to obviously explain is that, that comes from Keser. But the second person, Zayar, is saying that Pele, you don't need to go into Keser for Pele. Chochmah has it also on its own in the process. Obviously, then now comes a whole explanation of how that works. Now it's going to go pages and pages of Toyu and Tikkun and Ma and Ban and so on. But, um, but th- that's in the quiz. This is... Uh, I think we should stop here. You know, let us read the Kitzur because uh, this may be the Kitzur Oichon Zoya Dover Acha Kiasisa Pele Kiasisa Aleph Aleph Beis Aleph Bina Di Hine Chochma He Reishes Agili Chochma is the Reish is the beginning of the Gili Gili or Pnim V'Tainu Gu Halim Tainu Gu Is Concealment V'Chochma Gili V'Nikra Eir V'Chayes Remember we said V'Ayi Eir V'Chochma Techay Life V'Atzila Shu Gili Reishes Chochma Atzilus, the whole purpose of Atzilus is in Yana Atzilus is Gili, which is the Reishis, and the beginning, Reishis say Chochma. So the Reishis, who Gili, Reishis say, the beginning, the head of it is Chochma. Gam Yidiyas Atzmei, who I idea about Atzmusei. And even in the in Atzmus, knowing himself, is the idea within Atzmus, because they should Yiti, Yidiyas Be'elemus. In order there should be Yidiyas Be'elemus. If there was no Yidiyas Be'elemusei, we wouldn't have that connection with Yidiyas and Atzmus. Kes Chochma is Atzilus Cheshu Ve'er, Okay. Beis Yudin, Tun Yud, and a Kav in between. Shein Chochme Sheba Chochme, Mida Sheba Chochme, Biyusei Dabe Vakolu Pchin is Pella. And this whole thing is Pella and Ma. Obviously, he doesn't explain it in detail, but this is what he says in the Zeha. So Chochme therefore is going to have the wonder of Elokus of beyond Chochme. So that again becomes the interface. That's interesting. That's that's uh, exactly what he's saying. That that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely the point. So, not just interface Chach Mistema, which is where rooted in. Yeah, the conscious. The, yeah, yeah. The conscious. But then it comes also the conscious Chach mm-hmm. has a taste of yeah. that unconscious. Like you say, the, 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 yeah, okay. Mm-hmm.